Hello everyone, my name is Mitchell O'Brien and today I will be critiquing the effectiveness of music as a mechanic. Music is a big part of what makes games today great. It can communicate so many things to the player, usually better than words could. Music can convey emotion, mood, tone, and much more. Try turning off all the music in your favorite game and see how different it feels. Some games take this even further and use music as a game mechanic, or they build their entire game based off the rhythm of a soundtrack. I am arguing that in the video game Dark Souls 3 created by From Software, they effectively use music as a game mechanic by having the boss characters attack in time with the current song's time signature. More game companies should apply this technique used by From Software and incorporate more musical aspects into their games since it's such an effective mechanic. Dark Souls 3 does a great job at keeping the main boss fights challenging and fresh by giving them all unique movesets and some unique attack rhythms. Players often become used to reacting based on visual cues. Usually if a boss raises their arm, the player knows an attack is coming and they will react accordingly. Players can also predict the pace at which a boss will attack based on the rhythm of their soundtrack without even realizing they are doing so. Not many players realize that all bosses attack at a specific tempo, so they just assume that it's only their muscle memory from past experience that is taking over and helping them survive the fight. But in reality, it's it's a combination of the music's tempo, visual cues, and practice that keep them alive. This is also a great example of implicit rules being used effectively in Dark Souls 3. The player is never told that the bosses attack based on the rhythm of their unique soundtrack. They have to learn this through repeated gameplay. The boss fight I'm focusing on for this example is the Dancer of the Boreal Valley, often regarded as one of the most difficult boss fights in the game. The Dancer fights at a unique 3-4 tempo, while the majority of the other bosses fight at 4-4 tempo. Since a critical rule of the game was changed, the game itself changed, and it makes a huge difference. Players now have to adapt to this new attack tempo in order to overcome the dancer and continue on their journey. This is why From Software using music as a mechanic during the boss fights is so effective, because it affects the difficulty in a unique way that players don't even realize. Although players find the Dancer of the Boreal Valley difficult to overcome, it is agreed upon that her fight is still one of the most entertaining in the game. This could have some correlation with the fact that the fight uses music as a hidden mechanic. I believe this means that music as a mechanic is generally liked among players. After all, the next game I'm talking about has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam and is 100% built around music. This game is none other than Crypt of the Necrodancer. Out of 20,741 Steam users, only 803 would not recommend it to appear. That ratio is very impressive. Crypt of the Necrodancer takes fundamental elements of a roguelike dungeon exploration game and adds a beat matching rhythm game set to an original soundtrack. As I just mentioned, Crypto the Necrodancer's mechanics rely completely on the music's tempo, similar to the dancer of the Boreal Valley's boss fight from Dark Souls 3. Because the main game mechanics revolve around music and its tempo, the gameplay loop can be mastered much easier. On average, players are stuck mastering a gameplay loop through trial and error. However, when you add music to the equation, that same loop becomes much easier to master. It quickly becomes second nature to move, attack, and dodge in time with the music. This means that players will get better at combat sooner, which means they get more coins, which means they can buy better gear and upgrades, which means they should live longer. Having the advantage of gear and upgrades means that the player should die less, and overall have a less frustrating and more entertaining experience. If the player does kick the bucket early, it shouldn't be a huge setback since they have an advantage in combat by default. This is why I believe music as a mechanic is more entertaining for the player since it results in higher level gameplay and an easier time mastering game loops. The game Dead by Daylight, developed by Behavior Interactive, is extremely popular, with over 400,000 positive Steam reviews. This game could be as popular as it is because of the way they use music. Music is effectively used in this game through the killer's terror radius. In order to aid the survivors with locating the killer, Behavior Interactive incorporated the terror radius mechanic. This plays music at a specific volume and intensity depending on the killer's proximity to the survivor. If a killer is approaching from far away, the survivor will hear music in the distance that will become more prevalent as the killer gets closer, or it can become quieter as the killer moves away to signify safety. Additionally, some killers have their own unique soundtrack to help differentiate between them while their identity has not yet been revealed during the early minutes of the match. The terror radius music directly affects gameplay. As a survivor, you want to survive. In order to do that, you must avoid the killer. If a survivor is repairing one of the five generators needed to power the exit gates, and they start to hear the killer's terror radius music, they should know to either run or hide. This supports the usage of game theory in Dead by Daylight. Ideally, the player will have a decision tree in mind when they start to hear the killer's music. They need to weigh their options and choose the one they think gives them the best chance of survival. This is the same for the killer. A killer needs to keep watch for the strategies being used by the survivors. If a strategy they are using is dominant, the killer should think about changing up their approach to force the survivors to play differently or out of their comfort zone, resulting in a potential advantage for the killer. Using music as a game mechanic resulted in forcing players to come up with dominant strategies and have them make in-depth decisions. It is because of these reasons that Dead by Daylight will continue to thrive for the foreseeable future.
In conclusion, I believe more game companies should use music as a mechanic because it often has a positive effect on the player's experience and overall reception. Dark Souls 3 paired a boss's attack patterns with their soundtrack's tempo, making the fight more difficult in such a subtle way. Crypt of the Necrodancer used music in such a way that allowed for easier mastery of their gameplay loop. And finally, Dead by Daily gave killers a musical terror radius that directly impacts the survivor's decision trees. Thanks for watching.